Says I prepared for those who are obedient to me, for those who will please me. Such a jannat, such a jannat, in which there are things no eye has seen, no ear has heard of, no mind has imagined. Wala khatara ala qalbi bashar. No mind has imagined such things. It is beyond the imagination of this insan to even imagine what jannat is. One woman came to Zunnun Misri, rahmatullah alayhi. And she said, Sifli al Jannah, describe Jannah to me. Describe Jannah to me. He said, Inna al Jannah la yuhiyitu biha ilmu alim, wa la yasifuha wasfu wasif. He says, You're asking me that which is beyond my capability. No one has true knowledge. No one has true knowledge. No one can describe it as it ought to be described. Have you not heard the verse of the Quran? فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَّا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِّنْ قُرَّةِ عَيُنْ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ No nafs, no soul knows. No soul knows that which we have kept for them in Jannah. مِّنْ قُرَّةِ عَيُنْ Things that will cool their eyes. جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ This is a recompense, a return for the a'mal that they did in this world. But nevertheless, since you have asked me, I will tell you something of Jannat, Zunmun Misri says to her. Inna fil jannati, inna fil jannati marjan min fiddatim bayda. He said in Jannat there is a field, an open ground that is made out of silver. Fi wastil marj qasrum min dhahabin asfar. In the center of this ground of silver is a palace made out of gold. Fi wasil qasri qubbatun min yaqutin ahmar. In the center of this palace of gold is a dome that is made out of red ruby. Fi wasil qubba sarirun min zahabin wa jawhar. In the center of this dome of red ruby is a bed that is studded with sapphires and pearls and emeralds. Ground of silver, palace of gold, dome of red ruby, in the center of that a bed. Tajri tahta sariri arbaatu anhar, nahrum min ma, wa nahrum min asal, wa nahrum min khabar, min khamr, wa nahrum min laban. Underneath this bed, four streams are flowing. One of water, one of milk, one of wine, one of honey. Wa ala sariri jariya. And on the bed is a woman, the woman of Jannah. Such is her beauty that if her forearm, her forearm had to become exposed in the darkness, the darkness would light up. What is her face made of? What is the beauty of her face? Nuru wajhiha min nur illahi ta'ala. The nur of her face is from the nur of Allah. The nur of her face is from the nur of Allah. Women of such indescribable beauty. How many places in the Quran Allah describes expressions? Hurun maqsuratun fil khiyam. Hurun ayin ka amthali lulu il maknoon. كواعب أترابا عربا أترابا كأنهن الياقوت والمرجان كأنهن بيض مكنون. Words cannot do justice to describing these women of Jannah, the women of the world are made of what? Sand, water, of the four elements. What are the women of Jannah made of? Min rijliha ila rukbatiha min zafran From her toes to her knee is made out of zafran. Min rukbatiha ila thadiyiha min al miskil khalis From the knee to the chest is made out of pure musk. Min thadiyiha ila anukiha Min al ambar al ashar. From the neck, from the chest to the neck is made out of amber. 
منانے کے ہاں الارہ سے ہاں من الكافور الخالص from the neck من الكافور الابیت from the neck to the top of the head is made out of white camphor and then the hair the hair will be flowing from the top of the head right up to the feet one strand one strand of that hair is such that Janabi Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi said if one strand had to be brought into this world this entire world will become fragrant لو بدام يعصمها في الظلمات لا شرقت وانارت if she had to reveal her forefinger forefinger just the fingertip just the fingertip لو أن بنانا من بنانها بدا لتمس ضوء الشمس كما تتمس الشمس ضوء النجوم أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم when the sun rises in England, it doesn't happen all the time, unfortunately, but in summer, possibly. When the sun rises, you find the stars disappear. The stars are not gone anyway, they are there. But the intensity of the light of the sun is such that the stars are no longer visible. Allah Rasulullah Sallam said, if she had to reveal her fingertip, the sun will become invisible. Such is the nur of the fingertip. Ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu used to say, if Allah has kept such effulgence and nur and light in her fingertip, what must be the rest of her body? Such is the beauty, such is the beauty. It is said the first gaze, the first gaze, the first gaze of this Jannati at the woman of Jannat will last for 40 years. 40 years he will stay transfixed. نور وجهها من نور الله تعالى Obviously, the nur of her face is from the nur of Allah From Allah's special tajalli What must be the beauty of this woman? وَإِلَى جَانِبِهَا وَلِيُّ اللَّهِ عَلَى سُورَةِ غُلَامِ الْأَلِّيَ الْأَمْرَدِ عَلَى حُسْنِ يُوسُفِ وَعَلَى قَامَةِ آدَمِ وَعَلَى قَلْبِ اَيُّوبِ وَعَلَى مِلَادِ عِيسَى وَعَلَى خُلُقِ مُحَمَّدِ صلى الله عليه وسلم Zunnun Misri says on her side, lying with her, will be the male of Jannat. He will have the height of Adam alayhi salam, 130 foot tall. The age of Isa alayhi salam. The beauty of Yusuf alayhi salam. The heart of Ayyub alayhi salam. And the akhlaq and character of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. The winds will be blowing. They will be in the neighborhood of Allah. When this woman hears this, such is the reaction. She says, "Aleika illa qatliya misri, fa shahiqat shabbatan fa matat makanaha." Her heart cannot take this description. She says, "Misri, you are after my life." She screams and passes away on the spot. The shock and inclination and yakin of jannah of akhirat. This was a daily mazakara. It used to take place in Medina Munawwara. Where Ali Rabi Allah Ta'ala used to say, Lo kushif al-ghita, Lo kushif al-ghita, Mazdat tu imana. If the veil between us and Akhirat had to be removed, and Jannat and Jahannam had to be brought in front of our eyes, Mazdat tu imana, this would not increase our iman.